Hey everyone, I'm Tess. Welcome back to my channel and the second episode of our series, Bike Challenge Ride Twenty Mountain Bike Parks in North Island, New Zealand. If you haven't seen the first episode where we covered the beginner-friendly trails at Woodhill Mountain Bike Park and talked about the basic information about this mountain bike park, make sure to check it out. The purpose of this series is to help people who are visiting these mountain bike parks for the first time to have a better idea of what to expect and know what they need to prepare for. Today, we will explore the trails on the other side of the road which are slightly more advanced. First up, we are hitting the tasting platter. It's a fun ride with smooth flow and gentle gradients, perfect for enjoying some easy going terrain before hitting the more challenging trails. I will show some clips of each trail I rode here, but not all of them, as it would make this video super long. While I'm riding, I gotta say, Wood Hill is my favorite mountain bike park in Auckland because I can always find trails that match my skill level as well as trails that are slightly more challenging but still forgiving. It's really a fantastic place for riders to grow and improve without risking too much. If you are a beginner or intermediate mountain biker, I can't recommend Wood Hill enough. It's truly a fantastic place to ride. Alright, enough talking, let's get to the riding. After exiting the testing plater, you can see the area for huge jumps. Greasy cheeseburger. Next, we are riding Greasy Cheeseburger. It is a grade 4 trail with a few steep shoots. I usually wouldn't ride grade 4 trails myself, but I saw the trails here were easier than other places, mm. so I went along and had some fun doing it. I also pushed my limits on this trail by going down the steep shoots. Next up is One Night, a grade 3 trail that used to be called One Night Stand, but had a name change recently. It's a pretty fun and flowy trail that can be really high speed. Just watch out for some trails along the way. This section is a little bit steep. Hello, 
After that, we will be hitting a few more grizzly trails. These trails have a similar style, fun, flowy, and can be ridden at high speeds. If you can handle one, you can definitely enjoy the others. Just keep an eye out of any tricky spots like tree roots. Boots and dog. I heard this trail used to be called Booty Call, and its name also get changed. Handle the jando. Shapua. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Now, we will ride the Rode Neighbor, the only grade 5 trail I rode here. While most of the trail is similar to the grizzly trails, there's one spot that's super steep and technical. It was quite a challenge to me, so I actually didn't ride that part. But the rest of the trail is just as fun and flowy as the others. This is a less steep part, but still feel quite steep to me. I didn't feel like riding it, but I hope I can do it next time. Now I'm just following my friend. Instead of going really fast, we are trying uh -huh. to go a bit slower here. It is for improving my ability to control my bike. Now I'm heading back via reality check. It is a fun uphill trail that offers some interesting features. It has a wooden bridge that's great for practicing balance and adds an extra element of challenge to the climb. And finally, we have Speed Out, the last trail I rode on this side. It's a normal grizzly trail that you can choose to ride to the exit.
So that's Woodhill Mountain Bike Park in Auckland. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. In the next episode, I will introduce another fun mountain bike park in Auckland, Maritai Forest. Maritai Forest is quite different from Woodhill, offering a unique riding experience with its own set of challenges. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content on New Zealand's best mountain bike parks. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you in the next one.